You know that feeling you get when you're in the car and you're going somewhere epic, but it feels like it's taking forever. You never arrive. Your destination seems like it keeps getting further and further. Man, you just feel like you've been here forever. That's how I feel. Finally, I arrived at my new place. I told them how to design it. I told them how to build it. And now it's the moment of truth. Will I like it? Will I love it? Will it be as epic as I had in my mind? Well, no matter how I look at it, home sweet home. We've made it. We're here. We got a house. I'm no longer a bum. Is it everything I ever dreamed of? I'll show you guys in the next episode. This episode, we got some more Bundesliga action for you. We're taking on the team that's in last place in the Bundesliga. And if you watched the last episode, I told you guys I got to make sure I get over a 9 point something match rating every single game. That's my goal. A 9 point something. We're already at halftime. I haven't done nothing yet. That was probably the most boring first half of my career. Second half, 51st minute starts off a bit better. Skills gets into the box. I send it across to Mueller. I thought he would finish it. He did it. The ball's still bouncing all over the place. We still got it. We're still attacking. Skills on it. I'm going to swing it up to Ole Jean. Jean back to Skills. Skills looking for something. He takes a shot. Keeper with a big boy save. Unlucky. I thought we were going to get ourselves a booyah there, but we didn't. John back on it. You can see John's a beast for Bayern. He's always on the ball. Good passing for Bayern. Muller, he let it go by to Toko. And the keeper with another save. Unlucky there. And that's pretty much how the game was. That's pretty much it. That's like nothing else happened, really. We win that corner. We need a booyah right here. This guy's to be the moment. <sighs> Muller sends that one wide. It ended nil-nil. That's not my concern. What my concern was was that I got a 6.5 and just like I thought the manager benched me and look who's playing the starting 11 was Benzema, Muller, John, Sanchez Alaba's playing defensive mid doesn't really make sense to me why isn't Schweinsteiger in there instead isn't Alaba a left back or is he originally a defensive mid I'm not really sure I'm not I'm not that up to date with the Bundesliga. I don't watch it as much as I should. I used to be a massive fan of the Bundesliga, but I stopped watching it so much. Benzema scored a goal, which means he got a nine point something match rating, which means skills is staying on the bench some more. <laughs> I miss another big game against Dortmund. Guess what? Benzema scored, which means skills is going to miss another game. I definitely figured out how my player works now. If you get high match ratings, the manager will never pull you unless your fitness is messed up. Benzema scores, John scores. I gotta say I'm not upset because we're winning. But I'm a bit upset that I'm gonna miss three games in a row. Especially if that was a Champions League game. I'm a bit upset about that. I missed another big game. Bayern taking on Schalke 04, I believe that's how you say their names. And at this point, I'm begging that Benzema don't score. But look, there it is. Benzema scores. Which means I'm going to miss another game. Well, it just depends. Maybe his fitness will be busted. Regardless of Benzema's fitness. I got to go play for Portugal. And this is a, a friendly against Italy. So it's a big friendly. It's a big game. And I'm going to use this game right here to boost my match rating. If I can get a good 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 performance in here with Portugal maybe then when I go back I'll be starting for Bayern and I gotta make sure I continue to get good match ratings for them the game starts off with Italy scoring a goal on the seventh minute now there's a few things I want to tell you guys about this season this season I need to set goals for myself I always set goals when I arrive at a new team and I'm gonna keep the one record or the one goal I had with PSG the same I want to score 40 plus goals for Bayern. And also, I'm going to lower their assists I'm going to get. Because it's a new team. I don't really know how it's going to work. Since I'm a dedicated striker now at Bayern, I feel like I might be able to get 40 goals. If the manager starts me more than Benzema. Now my assists, I want to get 10. That's it. If I can get 10 assists, 
I'll be fine. Although I'm really, really attempting to be the playmaker at Bayern and get a lot of a lot of assists. I need to focus on making sure I get 40 goals and still trying to get as many assists as I can. But anything over 10 would be perfect. Those are the goals I'm setting for myself at Bayern. If I don't hit any of those, then the season's just a fail. 89th minute here. We're going to beat Italy in a friendly. It was a pretty crazy goal, but Andre Martins is standing in the right spot to put the ball into the back of the net. And that's actually going to make me walk out of here with a decent match rating. Which means I just might go back to Germany. I might go back to Bayern and get my starting spot back. Skills picked up a goal. Andre Martins picked up a goal. And we knocked off Italy. I got an 8.1 match rating. I'll take that. At least it was in the green. The next match, Paul Bentu said he wanted to give some of the reserves a start in this friendly. And that the starters didn't have to play. So I'm on. I'm, I'm not even on the bench. I'm chilling at home watching the game. Nani's playing. Nelson Oliveira's playing. And Nelson Oliveira picked up a goal. That guy's a scoring machine for Portugal at the moment. And that's how the episode's going to win with Portugal picking up another win. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did a like, as always, appreciate subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And next episode, we're going to check my new house out. That's a booyah.